What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and today it is a thrifting day. First stop is going to be a sale where we heard everything was free. Come on in, help yourself. Everything's free. Yeah, a box. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, I do. <laughs> Thank you. Katie. They did open about 30 minutes earlier, so we are kind of late. Hey, how are you doing? Welcome. Thank you. Check out the racks. We got pants over there. Uh, oh, it's like, okay. Oh, okay. You just have to look through it. Are you looking for just really looking for, I'm about to have a baby, so I'll just kind of look for like random baby stuff and yeah, just really okay. just looking for randomness. Okay, um, check on those, uh, the back table over there with like a baby clothing and little shoes. Okay. Okay. I'll be keeping a lookout for stuff for you. All right, thank you, appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks, excuse me. I believe that lady said her name was Chewy. She was very kind. As soon as I walked through the door, she was very helpful, so that was very nice. You the mouse. You see mouse my TV. I don't need both of them, I just need one of them. Just walking around and initially I really didn't really want to put anything in my bag because everything is free and I guess it's supposed to be for people who need it and not resellers, but a little boy. A little boy. Mm -hmm. okay. Invading your box. I got people looking for baby stuff for us. Ah, uh, really? <laughs> I got a bunch of briefs and stuff. Hey, we can use these too. We don't discriminate. <laughs> yeah. Is this for babies? These are oh, adults. Adults, After walking around for a little bit, you do notice how everybody's just really just grabbing stuff. So I did grab two things for myself personally, but then the reseller in me finally kicked in when I saw this jacket and I was like, yeah, this looks pretty nice. So I saw the brand of it and I was still uncomfortable actually looking item up. So I tried to sneak looking something up. Did I have to sneak to actually look these items up? Probably not, but there's nothing wrong with being incognito. I'm oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's cute. Thank you. Y'all see Katie, she came through in a clutch and pulled off the distraction. Now I'm just going to put this jacket in my bag and hope they don't notice, although it's free. And this dude in the background, he is hilarious. You just moved into your apartment. Maybe you just moved into an apartment. You need a chair. You don't need to go to Art Van. Just get a chair. All you do in your apartment is just watch Maybe you're an old person. Not old in years, but old in your mind. So you're gonna see me run across this outcast sweatshirt that I probably should have grabbed. The size is like an extra large, even though it looks like it's a 2X, it is faded, it's missing the string. And that's probably some of the reasons I really left it behind. It just wasn't perfect for me, even though this item probably still would have sold. I should have got it thinking about, but it is what it is. We still came away with this Kevin Garnett jersey. Kevin Garnett hasn't been in the league in about 20 years, and we know we haven't played for the Timberwolves in a long time, so that's gonna be a nice vintage sale for me. Also, listen, if you have a loved one who needs a walker, sometimes the insurance talks to play with your, with your, you know, stuff. We have a walker right here. So one of the strategies I did employ while I was here was I would see an item and then I would walk away and then I would look it up. So you can see me looking up an item and the item is like 100 feet away from me. It's because I didn't want them knowing what I was doing. Like I know I'm a reseller, but I still felt uncomfortable grabbing free stuff knowing I was going to resell it. But I don't know. It is what it is. What do you think in the comment section? Do you feel comfortable going to these sales that are free knowing that you're a reseller when majority of the time these people want it to go to people who will actually use it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I grab some stuff I use for myself too, but I mean, I'm a reseller and half of the stuff would have just went to the dump anyway, if we didn't get it. So 
I don't know. I don't know. Rock in a hard place in your mental when you think about stuff like that because, I mean, it's like, am I greedy or am I just working? <laughs> Honestly, I cannot believe I got this lucky and I cannot believe this jersey is here. We run across a Gary Payton jersey and then this is a reversible jersey on top of that. And then if you look at the stitching and the lettering, it's almost in, I'm not going to say perfect condition, but this is a very good jersey. This jersey should get me at least $70. I thought 50 when I first saw it, but I'm going to say 70 And I did see this King of the Jungle shirt. I did look it up and I did Google it. It really wasn't worth it. I could probably only get like $7 for it. I mean, $7 could be worth it for free, but didn't really want to waste my time. And it's clothing. And I think I wasted my time enough by even looking at it. So with that being said, let's throw it back. When we come to these sales, we do expect to see a lot of things, but a swastika is not one of them. Uh, I did inform the lady and she did end up burning the shirt. But you see this poetic Justice Tupac shirt coming in the clutch. No, that's going to sell. People love Tupac still to this day. He is pretty much like a cult hero for a lot of people. Don't know why. He just made a lot of songs, even though they were good songs. But yeah, it is what it is. I mean, hopefully he can make me some money. And then they have a table full of books that Katie didn't even come around at all. But, you know, I'm not even going to snitch on her nothing like that even though she's the bookseller but i did see these books and i see why she didn't come because most of them are garbage and there are a few magazines here as well did leave everything behind came around back to the rack where the jackets were and i saw the security jacket i initially thought i was going to make a funny video with the security jacket but after i looked up comps on that jacket wow very shocked that they are selling consistently for over 40 bucks you see me going through a lot of baby stuff i'm looking for baby onesies most of these onesies are all for little baby girls and I'm not about to put my boy in pink. I don't care, don't judge, it is what it is. And then you see this rack full of shoes that they had, decided to go ahead and grab the free shoes. They were brand new, still had a tag on them. I can either give them away or sell them on eBay or who knows. So Katie made me come to this um free rummage sale. I guess, but if it's free, it's not a sale. So they were giving stuff away for free at this church. That's it, no matter what it is. I've seen people walk out with microwaves, VHS tapes, recorders, games, baby stuff, you name it, they had it. I was a little weary taking stuff for free knowing that I was gonna resell some of it, but I did grab a few items to resell. I did grab a few items for free too, but there was some stuff I just couldn't leave behind. We'll go over all that stuff when we get to the house. And yeah, 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 that's about it. And they also did have a bunch of clothes and you know your boy don't like clothes at all, but I did pick up some clothes cause they were free and you know, we'll test them on the market. And I also didn't really look up a bunch of stuff. I just kind of was like freestyle and everything. And you know how I feel about make sure that we check in comps before we buy any items. But in this situation, I didn't want to walk around checking comps on a bunch of stuff that I was getting for free in a church. I don't know, just felt bad even though they didn't care at all, um, but yeah. So we are at our second stop of the day and I am excited because it's a Goodwill. Normally I do like Goodwills, but recently 2022 prices have gone up in the majority of the Goodwills, which is to be expected because everything is going up. So we just have to make sure that we adjust our profit margins and everything accordingly. So you see me running across this Roomba, which is crazy because I just left John's house, Cincinnati Picker which an upcoming interview will be coming out on this channel very soon. And he told me that I needed to get me a Roomba. And what do you know, guys, I found me a Roomba. Hopefully it works and it's $25 on the resale market. I can probably only double my money, not really triple it, but I'm gonna see if it works and if it works, I'll keep it. And if it doesn't, maybe I can sell it at a yard sale or something to get all of my money back. Or I can just bring it back too if it don't work because you know they accept it returns within 30 days and you see me come to the dvd section i have already walked all the other sections i didn't find anything else i did come to the sealed dvds and i found these two dvds only reason i even touched them because they were sealed a lot of pre-owned dvds aren't really worth money you have to really dig to find the good pre-owned dvds and a lot of goodwills if you go repeatedly you kind of know what dvds you've scanned already so you don't need to scan every single dvd just the ones that you don't know so with that being said i am scanning dvds that i have no clue about and they are turning out to be profitable 
which is the name of the game. Scan, find profits, check comps, and make sure it is profitable for you and your profit margins. Each DVD here at this Goodwill is $2. You can see one of these DVDs just recently sold for around $18 and another one sold for around 20. So I should definitely make my money back and they may sit a little bit, but my guess is no longer than around 70 days or so. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these DVDs. Katie is literally behind me right now. She's going through all of the books because, you know, hashtag media mail gang and all that good stuff. Why is she staring at me like that, guys? Well, let me go get around security because I don't want to find out why she's looking at me like that. Um, but we are going to head out to the checkout counter and go to store number three. This is store number three. This is gonna be a Habitat Restore. You guys know how I feel about Habitat stores. I think they're one of the most underrated stores that are out there, especially for resellers. People don't talk about them enough. And this restore can be an example of that. Right here, you're gonna see all of these little lightings and just different items that they have on this table right here. I scan each and every one of them. Majority of these items are profitable. I didn't really grab any because they are big and I'm restricted on Amazon and these are long tail items on eBay, but the profit margins can be fantastic. And if I was unrestricted on Amazon, I can make hundreds of dollars. So if I wanted to take the time to get ungated in some of these items, I could, but that can take a little bit as well but you know majority of those items were good even though i walked out empty-handed and then we come to store number four this is a salvation army same thing here there weren't really too many profitable items for me personally i came to the board game section like i normally do go to the dvd sections like i normally do and i really just didn't see too many items i guess if i was a clothing seller i may have found something better but I just don't really go to the clothing sections like that. Maybe that's something I may implement and maybe I'll just force myself to go find nothing but clothes one week. But as of now, I just like hard goods and items that have actual barcodes, good packagings, items that are in boxes. I feel like you do good with those items as well. You may not find items at every store you go to like you may if you were a clothing seller, but... I don't have to deal with as many returns as some clothing sellers do. I mean, every niche has its good points and its bad points. But Katie found some great items from the store. I personally didn't. So make sure you go check out Katie's version of her video that she dropped on her channel. Go like, subscribe, and tell her that Prison of Profit sent you if you aren't following Katie Reese. You can tell Izzy she's ready to go. It's been a long day. We've hit up four stores up to this point, and I think we're going to hit up a few more. So that's the goal. So at our final stop of the day, we decided to come to Habitat for Humanity again. And this one is a little bit local to us. I've been in here several times, so I know all the items that are here. You see these line of books. These books are new to me. Decided to go ahead and try to scan the majority of them. And they weren't really valuable. Um, today has been actually a very long day. Um, we went to what it seems like at least six or seven different stores trying to find items for profit starting off with that free store that we went to the day so we left the free store then we hit up goodwill then salvation army then a few restores and i only really bought items from two places the free store actually didn't buy nothing from the free place that we went to i've got some free items and we did get some good items from the free store and then from a goodwill i did find a few items as well so let's go ahead and go over all these items that i grabbed so we can call it a video so these are the items that we grabbed at goodwill we grabbed this Roomba for 25 dollars. it's selling for like around maybe 50 to 70 or so especially for this brand even though i paid 25 dollars for it i'm going to see if i can keep it for myself because you know i like the roombas and if i can't get it to work then obviously i'm going to take it back to get my money back so we're not going to look at nothing for profit on this item and then we found these two sheila kelly the s factors this is the pole workout and this is the lap dance workout one i saw selling for like around 18 dollars, and the other one was selling for a little bit cheaper i believe this is the one i was thought was selling for like 18 and this one could be selling for a little bit cheaper hopefully i should get at least ten dollars at the very bit at the very minimum and then we saw this in its bag and in, inside of this bag it did have this it had this umma router we did check comps and i should be able to get at least 
$15 for it. I don't have like the power cord, so maybe get 10 on the very, very low end, but that's with me charging shipping and that's like profit and everything. So hopefully I can charge like around, we're gonna say $17 for this item when it's all said and done. And these are the items that we got for free. So we paid $2 per DVD and then we paid $25 for the Roomba. So with that being said, every other item that we're going to talk about is completely free. These are some of the alcohol wipes that they gave us when we walked in that one store. That was free. I found this mouse for free as well. I'm going to use it for personal use. They had two of them, but I just only grabbed one for my personal use. And then this jacket right here, this cropped and barrel jacket, the suede jacket. It felt good, looked nice. So I went ahead and grabbed it. And I saw some comps going for like 50 bucks, but that wasn't this particular jacket. So I'm gonna do a little bit more research on this jacket and hopefully I can find this one particular one and maybe I can get at least 25 bucks for it on the very low end, especially for it being free for me. And then more free items that we got. I thought the shirt was pretty cool because of the dragon over the city in Chinese. I have no idea what it's saying, but this shirt I will probably keep for myself. If I wanted to resell it, I can get like around $17 for it or so. Then we found this this Los Angeles County t-shirt. This was also free. I did try to find comps, but I couldn't find this particular one. This brand or logo is probably selling for like around $10 in itself. So maybe I can get like $7 if I decided to sell this shirt. But I really grabbed it for like, am I going to use it for props in a future video? We see this Swiss Tech hat that I saw. I saw comps for a, a similar Swiss Tech hat that was blue for like around 15 bucks, I believe. So I might can be able to get like around eight to $12 for this one since it is used. And then of course, you know, your boy, as y'all have already heard, we got to get some baby stuff, you know, cause you know, your boy's about to have a baby. And this is a Gerber Hello World, six to nine months. So I'll probably get this thing washed and keep it for the little one. And then we have this breathable baby. I had no idea what it was at first, but this actually goes around a crib you can like put it around a crib and i guess it like blocks i'm not even sure what it really does but <laughs> i know that you put it around a crib and they have some selling for like around 15 to 25 bucks but this one is not new at all so i'm going to try to probably put it around our crib and then we have these then we have this skirt that we saw. I saw the price tag of $59.50. That was the main reason I grabbed it. It is a Forenza skirt. Took me a long time to try to find comps or a skirt that's very similar. Maybe we can get like around 20 bucks for it since it's new. Um, you know, it's free to me. So hopefully we can still get that good money. And then I grabbed this security officer jacket because I thought I could make some fun movies in the future. And then I was like, you know what? Let me look it up too because it might sell and when i looked up these security jackets most of them were selling for like 50 bucks and above this brand in particular national patrol so national patrol is doing pretty good i'm probably gonna see if i can sell this jacket for like around 40 bucks or above then we have these free shoes these are like walmart brand shoes these shoes are only selling for even the price tag is on there 18 dollars and 98 cents at walmart they were seven and a half who knows what I'll do with these shoes. Um, I'll probably end up giving them away to be honest, or I may just put them on auction and see what they go for. Who knows? Then you see this Poetic Justice shirt. I did check comps on these Poetic Justice shirts. This one probably sell for like around $10 plus shipping to be honest, um, since it is used. And then we do see this shirt that says, nope, period. Um, this one right here is probably only gonna sell for like around seven bucks or so. And this is Gary Payton. And if you don't know who Gary Payton is, he is a former NBA player and he was very good. So this jersey should sell fairly quickly because it is in good condition as well. And I saw some of his reversible jerseys selling for like around 70 bucks. And then right here we have this Kevin Garnett Timberwolves jersey, another NBA player, former back in the day day. This item I may get like around 20 to 40 bucks for it. It does have comps where they're selling for a little bit higher as well, but this one is a little bit faded on the market where it says Timberwolves. So, you know, I will drop my price to reflect the damage on the actual jersey or not damage, but natural wear and tear after you wash it like a several times. So, you know, not too bad for all of that stuff being free. We spent 29 bucks. We got a lot of items for free. 
the Roomba, who knows what I'll do. Maybe I'll probably use it for a few months and then upgrade and then sell that one. But I'll definitely make my money back inside of that Roomba. Most likely I'll try to get rid of it at a yard sale. Overall, like I said, we hit up a lot of stores today and it was a very long day. Not going to lie, it was long. I thought about going to get a job today. Not even going to lie because sometimes just going to sourcing all the time, it takes time. You got to hit up multiple stores. It's, you're just not going to go to the first store and find stuff. Go to the second store and find stuff. Go to the third store and find stuff. It don't work like that. You got to do your due diligence and actually put in work. And then you'll find something good. Like I said, we hit up probably like nine stores because we hit up like six or seven together. Then I hit up two more stores by myself. And I still only bought something from two of the stores. So it is what it is. That's just the name of the game sometimes. Sometimes I can go sourcing all day and only come home with one item. So that happens as well. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the channel. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for coming on our sourcing adventure today. I wish we would have found more items, but this is real Listic sourcing that's what i like to do on this channel not just to show you all the good stuff all the time i really take you on my journeys but we did find some good items in the jerseys the jerseys alone i should make well over a hundred dollars and then everything else should fall into place i'm thinking today could be a 200 dollar day haul just from the free stuff by itself and that's good enough for me because you know if we make 125 dollars a day that's at least 45 thousand dollars a year which means you're doing something pretty decent but anyways Make sure that you bless somebody today because I promise you I'm blessing somebody tomorrow. At this point in time, your boy Tay, I'm out.